Welcome back to my channel. This is a quick video that I'm going to be putting out here today. And for the sake of those that have not heard, and those in the abroad, uh, foreign nationals, this great news has come out from the government of Canada, and I thought it was very important for me to share so that you guys can benefit from it as much as possible to your advantage if you are here locally or if you are outside of Canada. So, drum roll. Let's talk about it. Right. On February 28, 2023, it was announced that visitors into Canada can continue to apply for permits while in Canada with a temporary extension policy of up to two years. Two years. So this means you can stay in Canada and work in Canada for up to two years. Meaning that you must have a valid job offer and you must continue to apply for and receive work permits without leaving Canada. Isn't that interesting? Some other announcements that came to the fore were made in favor of those with work permits under the COVID era temporary public policy with a two year extension of up to February 28, 2025. This is another great news. In fact, this news gladdens my heart. You know, Canada has labor shortage. You know, Abby. You know. And they're looking for ways in which they can bring people to Canada to come and build this ex uh, economy. They want the economy of Canada to keep expanding, to keep growing. And tell me, how would they do that if they don't have workforce? Did you watch my video that I was comparing Canada with um, Nigeria? And I talked about the land mass in Canada. It is huge, guys. But the population is less than those in Nigeria. So who will populate it if not foreign nationals that are looking forward to coming here to come and work? That's why Canada is bringing out all this policy to be able to block those labor shortages that exist here. They just want to grow their economy. It might be selfish on their part, but yes, it's also benefiting some other people. Forget it. People want to come to Canada, but they've not found means. Some people cannot, you know, just work in the immigration stream because so many factors are against them. They don't have the proof of funds. Some of them don't have age on their side. Some can't do ILTS. Some can't do, they didn't go to school to do credential check. There's so many things, so many things. It's too much. But I think this opportunity, when you're coming to visit somebody, what do they need from you now? If you have work, it's just to show that you are working in the country that you are left and some other things. But part of the exciting news is that before this announcement, this visitor's visa was operational before it was really in operation. But what was existing at the time was that when you come into Canada as a visitor and you apply for a job offer, you have that job offer an employer has given you that they want you to work with them. Then you apply for work permits. As soon as you get your approval for that work permit, and then you have to leave Canada back to your home country and be issued that work permit. Honestly, this is too much for some people because they want to work in Canada. But I was really excited to see that you don't have to leave Canada anymore. You don't have to leave Canada anymore. While in Canada with your valid job offer and application for your work permit, as soon as you get approval, please begin to enjoy yourself because they will issue your work permit to you in Canada. No more going back to your home country. No more stress, guys. No more stress. And that's the difference in this policy and this announcement. So please keep looking forward to it. And as many people that are outside Canada, this is an opportunity for you. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Go and apply for visitor's visa, please. What are you waiting for? Okay, the second announcement or the second... Okay, wait, wait, let me finish this one first. But it's important for you to go apply for a visitor's visa and begin to plan yourself coming to Canada as soon as you come. Look for work, get job offer, apply for work permits, begin to work. And you can have extension up to two years. And maybe that extension will continue to be extended if your employer still says they need you. They keep extending that. You keep applying for an extension of your work permit. And you never know you get into applying for PR and you might be a citizen of Canada. I did not say that too. But it's an opportunity for you to explore. 
So don't dwell on that. Please head right now to the government or Canada website to ensure that you meet all the requirements. And please share this news to as many people that are looking forward, foreign nationals that want to come to Canada to come and stay. This is one road to enter Canada. Please make good use of this opportunity and keep applying. Start off with your visa first. Just apply, come and visit and then look for how to continue your journey as a visitor into Canada. I wish you good luck on this and please let me know when you come to Canada, when this has really been beneficial to you as a visitor into Canada. So quickly, let's jump into the second news. This second news is going to benefit those that are already here, because if you are a foreign national looking forward to coming, it's good news for you to look forward to. But for many people that are here already, this news is gladdening our hearts. Thank you, Government of Canada, because they have reached Canada-wide e-learning and childcare agreements with all the 13 provinces and territories in Canada. This is to make sure that there's affordable childcare for parents. In fact, parents have seen where paying almost up to about $490 or $500, up to like $700 for childcare. It is not cheap. These are part of the cries of parents here in Canada and thank you government of Canada that you heard, you listened and you have put this into good use. Thank you for exploring this opportunity and I'm sure parents are really grateful. They are looking to grow their economy. I mentioned that Canada still has a gap and they want to grow the economy. How would they grow economy when women have been different and enfranchised? How do they say that? Women have been sectioned away. Because they are giving birth, they cannot work. Because they have young children and they have to sit at home. If they have to work, that money that they think they are making, they are going to use it to pay for childcare. So tell me, does that make sense? They would rather sit at home with their children. If they have children six years and below, it's difficult for mothers to work. That's if they are not working where they earn a lot to be able to pay off that amount every month. If they are working in a place where their income is not that much, tell me how they want to remove $600, $700 from that money every month. How much are they earning to be able to keep a child in daycare and still contribute their quota to build Canada's economy? Thank you, Canada, that you have heard. And I'm sure mothers are super excited. So right now, women, you can go to the workforce with your full chest without thinking of the money because Government of Canada has made it cheap that you are paying only $10 every day for childcare. Yes, you heard me right. $10. And if you are going to pay in a month, it's subsidized to $217.50. So you can go to bed. You are not worrying. That's a good, good relief on parents that have young children under six that need to go to childcare. They can rest. Honestly, they are so, in fact, relieved. I am relieved on their behalf. You think I have children that are in daycare. But I hear their cry. I hear their complaint. I hear their petition. Oh, sue me. But Canada government, thank you for hearing this cry. I'm helping to use this opportunity to also grow the economy of Canada and giving children an early best start in their life. Because sometimes if these children don't also mix with other children in daycare, that's how they learn, you know, how to mingle with their other peers. Back in our country, Nigeria, we just say that people start school early, but we are sharp. Our children grow very sharp because they have started going to school. Although part of it is parents have to work, they have to get them to, you know, fix them up somewhere for them to have the opportunity to go to work. The things that they start learning early in their life, in fact, you can't imagine because they are going to where they will be taught and they are mixing with children their age. Government of Canada, I'm still thanking you. Thank you so much for this magnanimous relief on parents in Canada. And for those parents that are also desiring to come, it's now cheap, it's now free, in fact, it is free. And you can rest your mind that you are not paying so much. So this is applicable only to licensed child care. For those that have people that just keep children without a license, 
this is not for you because you are not authorized to do so. I'm sure some people might be charging parents really cheaper than the licensed home to keep those children for other parents that have to go to work. But right now, they've chased you out of business. Sorry. Go and get registered and be licensed so that you can also get that subsidy match up from the government. Parents will probably won't be patronizing you again no, because your fees will now be expensive. To talk more so. That's the truth. So if you want to still be in business, go register, get licensed, and stay in business. Parents can enjoy this from April 1st. I think April 1st, that's spring, really. And this is a good relief. Honestly, I am like too excited for this news. And you can keep your children full time in that daycare center and go to work peacefully. This announcement has been ongoing for the past few years, I think a year or two. And at some point in 2022, it was reduced to about 50%, you know, an average of 50% that they pay at daycare center. But now that is $10, $217.50. I can't shout. And for other provinces that have not caught the bug, 2026 is the final cutoff because it has to go around all provinces here in Canada and all the territories in Canada. Every daycare, licensed daycare, has to charge this amount. And this is the subsidy that Government of Canada is giving to parents. So, parents, hear me now. Don't go and now start giving them. Because right now, people are not having so many children because of this. I know that you say the child support or the child benefit that you receive has been wiped out before now. And now you can keep it. Even though you can keep it, it does not give you license to go and have more children. Please have the one that you can take care of. The government of Canada did not send you to come and start giving back to children because you have $10 a day to pay. But guys, it is just a relief. Relief to parents, relief to us that our ears are full of the complaints of parents around here and that the government of Canada is listening. That is very exciting. So go share this news. People that are foreign nationals, have you heard? So as you plan to come, know that child care is, is just know that child care is sorted out. In fact, sorted out. Sorted out. I was still saying to my brother that will soon land in Canada that guy, you are the one that will be hosting you. Your wife will be sitting out of except she finds a work from home job. But right now, babe, you can work. You can work. You can work and pay just $10 a day. So guys, I'm excited for everybody. I'm excited as everybody is excited. Share this news. Make it go viral to as many that have not heard. Let them know that yes, they should not keep their children at home anymore. If they have under six year old child, take them to daycare center so that they can also mingle with other children, learn from them, give you relief. Even if you are working from home, even if you are a sit at home mom, or you are a content creator, you are doing something on your own, side business or side hustle, give yourself relief. I'm going to pay that $10 one day and have peace of mind. Thank you, Government of Canada. We can't thank you enough. We know that all the other things that people have been crying for will come to fall very soon because you're listening. See you again in another vlog and remember to subscribe, guys. Bye.